In 1979, the Swedish government began development of the Gripen, a fighter, attack, and reconnaissance aircraft to replace the Saab 35 Draken and 37 Vigan. The first flight took place in 1988, and the first production aircraft was delivered in 1993. The Gripen entered service with the Swedish Air Force in 1996, and upgraded variants with more advanced avionics and longer mission times began entering service in 2003. More than 271 Gripens have been produced. Gripen also been exported to several other countries. During the Cold War, the Swedish armed forces needed to be able to defend against a possible invasion. To do this, they needed to disperse their combat aircraft to small, snow-covered airfields. This meant that the aircraft needed to be able to take off and land from short runways. Gripen was designed with this in mind, and it can operate from runways as short as 500 meters. Another key design goal for the Gripen was a short turnaround time. This is the time it takes to refuel, rearm, and service the aircraft after a mission. The Gripen can be turned around in just 10 minutes, which allows it to respond quickly to threats. For air-to-ground missions, the turnaround time is slightly longer at 20 minutes. Saab claims that the Gripen has more 50% lower operating costs than its closest competitor, the F-16. Cost per flight hour of an F-16 varies depending on the specific model and mission requirements, but it is generally around $22,000. This includes the cost of fuel, maintenance, and other operational expenses. The cost of operating an F-16 is significantly lower than the cost of operating other modern fighter jets, such as the F-22 Raptor or the F-35 Lightning II. Overall, the Gripen is a relatively affordable fighter jet to operate. This makes it a popular choice for countries with limited budgets, such as the Czech Republic and Brazil. Cost of operating a Gripen is significantly lower than the cost of operating other modern fighter jets. Latest Gripen variants, the E and F, have a cost per flight hour of around $8,000. This is significantly lower than the cost per flight hour of other four-plus generation fighter jets. The Gripen's low cost per flight hour is due to a number of factors, including its lightweight design and its modular construction. Gripen is also designed to be easy to maintain, which further reduces its cost per flight hour. For example, the Gripen's lightweight design means that it uses less fuel, which reduces the cost of each flight hour. The Gripen's modular construction also makes it easier to maintain, as parts can be easily replaced without having to take the entire aircraft apart. Gripen is the lightest major fighter in current production, but it still carries a formidable combat load. It can carry a 27mm cannon and up to six air-to-air -air missiles, the same types that are carried by heavier fighters. Gripen E is the latest version of the Gripen series. It was designed to be more capable and adaptable than previous versions, with a focus on stealth, networking, and precision strike. Gripen E is the single-seat production version of the Gripen NG program. It is priced at $85 million per unit. Sweden and Brazil have ordered the E variant. Gripen E has an overall length of 15.2 meters, wingspan of 8.6 meters, and maximum takeoff weight of 16,500 kilograms. Gripen E is powered by a General Electric F 414 GE39 E turbofan engine. This engine has a maximum thrust of 22,000 pounds with afterburner. Engine has improved performance, reliability, and resistance to bird strikes. It also has a simplified design that reduces maintenance requirements. As of November 2010, the Gripen had accumulated over 143,000 flight hours without a single engine-related failure or incident. This is a remarkable record for a single-engine aircraft. The maximum speed of the aircraft is Mach 2 at high altitude, while the speed at low, altitude is Mach 1.4. Aircraft's internal fuel tanks with a combined capacity of 3.4 tons are approximately 40% larger than those of its former version. Gripen E has a maximum range of over 1,000 miles. Range can be extended with external fuel tanks. Fighter can also be refueled in flight, which further extends its range. When come to armament, Gripen E is equipped with a 27mm Mauser BK-27 cannon. Aircraft has 10 hardpoints. Four of these are located on the wings, and six are located on the fuselage. 
The hardpoints can be used to carry a variety of weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles, air-to-ground missiles, bombs, and electronic warfare equipment. Gripen's armaments can be selected by the customer, and Saab offers a wide range of options from different countries. This makes the Gripen a very versatile aircraft that can be configured for a variety of missions. Gripen can carry up to 6,500 kilograms of armaments and equipment. The Meteor is the Gripen E's most advanced air-to-air -air missile. It has a range of over 120 kilometers, and it is equipped with a ramjet engine. This allows the Meteor to maintain high speed throughout its flight, making it very difficult for enemy aircraft to evade. The Meteor is also equipped with a sophisticated seeker head that can track enemy aircraft in all weather conditions. Gripen can be armed with AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles. The Gripen E has the ability to carry up to six AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles on its wingtip hardpoints. The Gripen CD can also carry AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles, but it can only carry up to four missiles on its wingtip hardpoints. AMRAAM is a long-range, beyond-visual-range air-to-air missile. It is one of the most advanced air-to-air -air missiles in the world, and it has a range of over 100 kilometers. The AMRAAM is also equipped with a radar seeker head that allows it to track enemy aircraft in all weather conditions. Fighter also can be armed with IRIS-T missiles. IRIS-T is a short-range, infrared-guided air-to-air missile. It is designed to engage enemy aircraft at close range, within visual range. The IRIS-T is very maneuverable, and it can track and engage enemy aircraft that are maneuvering evasively. The IRIS-T is also equipped with a proximity fuse, which allows it to detonate near the target, even if the target is not directly hit. Gripen can carry AIM-9X Sidewinder. AIM-9X is another short-range, infrared-guided air-to-air missile. It is a very capable missile, and it is used by many air forces around the world. 9X is also... Grapen can be equipped with AGM-65 Maverick missile and GBU-49 Enhanced Paveway 2 and Mark-82 bombs. Grapen E can carry up to two anti-ship missiles. The Grapen is a software-defined aircraft, which means that its avionics and weapon systems can be updated with new software over the air. This allows the Gripen to stay up to date with the latest threats and technologies and to add new capabilities as needed. Gripen entered service with the PS05A Pulsen Doppler X-Band multi-mode radar, which was developed by Ericsson and GEC Marconi. The radar is based on the Blue Vixen radar used on the Sea Harrier, and it also served as the basis for the Eurofighter's Captor radar. PS05A is an all-weather radar that is capable of locating and identifying targets 120 kilometers away. Radar is able to handle all types of air defense, air-to-surface, and reconnaissance missions. They are also developing a Mark IV upgrade to the radar, which will have a number of improvements, including a 150% increase in high-altitude air to air detection ranges, detection and tracking of smaller targets at current ranges, 140% improvement in air-to-air -air mode at low altitude and full integration of modern weapons, such as the AIM 120C AMRAM, AIM 9X Sidewinder, and MBDA Meteor missile. Gripen E and F will use a new active electronically scanned array radar, the Raven ES05. This radar is based on the Vixen ASA radar family from Celex ES, and it has a number of improvements over the previous radar used on the Gripen CD. Raven ES-05 has a greatly increased field of view and improved range, which will allow the Gripen E to detect and track more targets at once. It also has a new mode that allows it to detect low-radar cross-section targets at beyond visual range. Raven ES radar range is classified. In addition to the radar, the Gripen also integrates the Skyward G infrared search and track sensor. This sensor is passive, meaning that it does not emit any radar waves. Instead, it detects thermal emissions from air and ground targets in the aircraft's vicinity. This makes it a valuable tool for detecting targets that are trying to hide from radar.